Hi everyone, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com. I have a very quick tutorial video for you today related to PayPal. If you have followed any of my other videos, you will know that PayPal lends a trickiness, let's say, to bookkeeping. So I'm often relying on one certain report from PayPal to help me figure out what actually occurred within PayPal and then making sure that that is reflected in my bookkeeping. This is a very important report, especially if you're trying to reconcile PayPal. It is invaluable. So let me show you how to find it within a business PayPal account and also within a personal PayPal account if you're using a personal account for your business right now. Okay, so we're in a business PayPal account and we are going to go to activity, all reports. The statement has some value, although I don't prefer to use the statement because it doesn't have a running total of the balance information. So that's why I go to the activity download and this is the report I have all of my clients send to me as well. Okay, on the activity download page, the transaction type we're gonna select is in fact this balance affecting. So that way you can really see what actually occurred within the PayPal account. You can select your date range, so maybe last month. And I always use the CSV file format so that I can total, hide columns, etc. And then you hit create report. I've already created a report for last month, so let me show you what that looks like. So this is what you'll get with the balance affecting report. You're gonna get the date in order, some information about the transaction. As you know, with PayPal, they take a fee. So it breaks out the amount you were paid or the amount that you did pay less any fee that PayPal took for the net amount, some additional information, and then what I like to do is I like to hide several columns. I'll right click and hide. So now I have my balance information right next to my transaction detail information. So you can see that as each net item gets added, the balance goes up. When I make a payment, the balance goes down. This report is also helpful when you have a currency conversion that has not come over to PayPal. You can sort by the type and find the currency conversion items. You can also sort by type to find the refunds that also don't come over into the bank feed as well. So this report is just hugely helpful. It makes PayPal bookkeeping so much easier. And like I said, once you hide all those columns, it's all together for you and easy to read. I use this report all the time. So now let me show you how to find the same report if you're using a personal PayPal account. Now the personal PayPal account looks quite different and unfortunately it takes a couple extra clicks to find the report that I like to use. If you find a faster way to locate this report in a personal PayPal account, leave a comment below. I would really appreciate that and I think others would as well. So I have found that report by going to activity, statements, see more reports, and then I can get to the activity download right here. Once again, I would choose balance affecting, choose my date range, and I always use the CSV file format, and then I create the report. As I said, if you find that your PayPal account has this report in a different location, or if it's easier to get to this report by some other means, then please go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section so that others can benefit from your knowledge. 
And as always, if this video has been helpful to you, I would really appreciate your like and subscribe. But if you are trying to do your PayPal bookkeeping, I use, of course, QuickBooks Online for my bookkeeping, but I have a feeling this report would be helpful no matter which program you're using to do your PayPal bookkeeping, then this is where I turn. This is the report that helps me figure out the mess that is PayPal and how to accurately reflect all of the information that I need to within my bookkeeping records. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you found this helpful.